all part of the process of learning to play. Build tough enough and you will gradually develop calluses. One thing to note is that if your finger is on a lower fret than the adjacent uh, string's finger, then you don't have to worry about touching that string. That's not a little bit weird, so let me demonstrate that for you so that makes sense. Okay, right now I'm going to use my first finger uh, to play the third fret of the first string. Now, if I'm in front, of, if I touch in front of that string, it's going to mute and keep that string from ringing. But I'm now going to fret it with my second finger. I can touch as much as I want behind that fretted note, and it's not going to have any impact on the string at all. So in that case, if my first finger happens to be touching this uh, for the D chord, happens to be touching the second string, just like that, it's going to have no impact whatsoever on the sound of this note. The only way that you can actually mute a string is to touch somewhere between the fret that you're using, that you're, where you're fretting that note, and uh, the rest of the string. Now that you've gotten the chord sounding clean, let's learn how to switch uh, to the A and E chord from the D chord.